Hi, I'm Extra Yogurt and welcome to another speed build. Before we get into the build today, I just wanted to cover a few things um, that I did between my last build and now. And one of those things was adding a little bit of neighborhood deco um, to my completed neighborhood here. And if you haven't seen my speed builds for these lots, um, you can check them out on my page. Uh, but yeah, I just added basically street signs and those little gate pieces and a few trees um, It's not a whole lot, but I think it adds a nice touch and kind of signifies that that neighborhood is complete but Yeah, and then also another thing that I did was draw up a template of how the neighborhood is gonna be designed so basically um, I just wanted more direction with my speed builds or my builds in general and just what I was going to build next and um, the design styles that I was going to use if lots were going to match each other and things like that. So this is what we're starting with and this is uh, how I designed it. So if you look at the top, we have a cemetery. Um, I hate building cemeteries. And I hate when my sims die in general, so I try to avoid it, but you kind of need one for a city <laughs> to function properly. And under that, we have apartments, townhomes, and parks. Uh, we also have three separate single family home neighborhoods, one of which I've already completed. Um, we have a gym, pool, and spa area blocked off, an animal shelter and animal park area blocked off, and um, in the center here, we have our shopping and markets. And today we're gonna be speed building for that area. And around there, I decided to put all things entertainment and enjoyment. So that includes stuff like theaters, restaurants, museums, libraries, um, the bowling alley. Uh, those are just the things I could think of off the top of my head, but. Yeah, this is definitely subject to change, but I think this will give me a lot more direction with my builds. But yeah, let's get into the build. If anyone was wondering, yes, I did name this lot after Whole Foods. <laughs> My creativity when it comes to naming lots is just not there at all. So that's that's the best I could do was Sim Foods. But <laughs> um, but yeah, so building the layout for this lot presented a huge challenge for me because I just did not go in with uh, any type of game plan. So I was kind of winging it. I had made another shell of this on a smaller lot and it just wasn't big enough to fit all the different sections in the grocery store. And even now this still wasn't really big enough because it doesn't have a bathroom. Don't kill me y'all. Your Sims are not gonna be able to use the bathroom here, but also that like I've seen that in grocery stores before in real life not having a bathroom I feel like that's pretty normal but it just seems like this lot is supposed to have a bathroom so sorry about that but I just did not want to use a lot any bigger I felt like that would have been overkill but um yeah so I had added a small parking lot on the side as well I don't like to put parking lots on all of my lots uh, just the ones where I feel like it's necessary so especially for shopping in particular like if your sim buys a bunch of stuff in theory they're gonna need a way to get it home so they're gonna have to drive there <laughs> so um, that's why I added a little parking lot there and I could have added some decorative cars but like I've said before I don't like making people have to download too much custom content 
when using a lot. This lot already has a few pieces of custom content, most of which I was able to include with the download, so that's good. But uh, I believe just the bakery items had to be have to be downloaded separately according to the creator's policy. So hopefully that's not too bad. Um, if you guys don't want to download that CC, you can always replace it with real baked goods uh, from the game or from your Sims kitchen or something like that. So yeah. If anyone is wondering why my wall tops are white and not brown, it's because I have a mod installed um, by a, a mod The Sims creator, and I will be sure to link it in the description. But you definitely do not need it for this build to function or anything or any of my builds. It's just one of those default replacement mods. Um, that's a mod I highly recommend just because it, it makes everything look so nice and clean. It also replaces the corners of foundations and uh, underneath of roofs, which you'll see once I start putting roofing on this build. Um, however, it does not replace like the that little brown line you get on the edge of, of open tiles. I wish there was something to fix that. I don't think there's any mods that I've seen to fix that, but uh, that's just something we'll have to deal with. But um, I'll be sure to link uh, any CC that I use, which is not much, not much at all, but I'll be sure to link and credit um, the CC that I've used in this build, the CC that's highly recommended and the CC that you don't need. And then also, uh, the mods that I have installed um, in my game no matter what so for example the color enable package if you don't have that mod you need to get it if possible um, it doesn't only help with downloading custom content but also some maxis items you can't even access the recolors for them without the color enable package um, I'm not one of those people who understands how that stuff works, but just know that if you don't have it, you should definitely get it, even if it's the only thing that you download for your game. So yeah, but don't get too overwhelmed by everything I'm saying. I'll just put it in the description, so.
guys will notice in my builds that when it comes to wallpaper and flooring, I will go through so many different types and textures and colors before I actually uh, pick the one that I want. And for y'all's builds, I highly recommend doing this. Like, don't stick to the first thing you put down, kind of play around with things. Um, the Sims 2 has so much variety. I still discover things that I never used before or I haven't used enough. So um, you'll see me just playing around with the brick. That first brick that I used, I thought was way too busy. I hate when I see brick that has too much of a pattern to it. Like you can tell it's repeating. Same with flooring, but if you know, you know. But yeah, no offense to you if you like those, but it's just, it's just not for me. But yeah, so I had decided on this um, pretty basic brick and then I used some tan brick for the planter boxes. I used black bricks or stone for the accents and then um, at first I used black paint for those little half wall pieces on top of the roof but I end up changing it to black brick later on because I'm a super perfectionist and I don't know why but it just bothered me that the black paint was so plain I felt like it needed to be some kind of outdoor material but yeah so that's the story behind that um uh, I can't wait until you guys have to see me struggle with finding windows for this building. I mean, the floor to ceiling windows were a pretty easy pick, but as for, y'all will see, I I'll just let the video play. Okay, so this is where I was struggling with the windows for a while. Um, not only trying to get windows that looked right from the exterior, but also windows that would make sense on the interior. Um, as we all know, like grocery stores, they usually like, they have windows at the front, but nowhere else in the store because obviously, you know, you're storing food and refrigeration. You probably don't want the sun beaming on refrigerated food but um sometimes i think way too deep into this game but anyway y'all know what i mean so i kind of sat here struggling and then trying to see if i could find flooring to match these uh glamour life windows and then kind of messing with the floor and stuff and ultimately i had just decided to take out the windows completely um but this this took up a lot of time. I definitely could have cut this part out, but I wanted y'all to watch me struggle. <laughs> that these little wooden pieces would be a really nice touch but um, the fact that I couldn't toggle them higher or lower was presenting a big issue because I wanted to have like several rows of those and I thought that would have been a nice little uh, accent piece but it just was not working out and I thought that one line it had potential but I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. So I do end up removing those wooden beams. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, I love how we can use these Greek symbols for <laughs> for signs in the game uh, without CC. It's just funny because I'm always just making up in my head like, oh, what would what would these English words be if we were using Greek letters? So just imagine that that that, that says sim foods. <laughs> And here I go again, trying to add windows here, knowing it's not gonna work out. I spent so much unnecessary time trying to deal with these windows, but this is this is how you get a build that you're proud of. You exhaust all options. <laughs> Don't even ask me what I thought I was doing with the roof, with the roofs there, roof, roofing, roofing, with the roofing there. But I'm really glad I ended up finding a way to give something interesting uh, to look at on those empty walls. And this is a technique that I'm definitely going to be using on future builds for this neighborhood. Um, that just looks so nice to me without having to put any windows there so um something uh, that's hard for me about these big community lots is always the back of the building the back of the building always looks horrible and for that reason i always just close it off if it was one of those buildings where it's like accessible from all sides i would definitely add a little razzle dazzle to the back but for the most part it's always going to be just a big plain box so don't expect much from the back um then here i am uh doing the ceiling painting which is a hassle but very important to me always looks really nice But yeah, so here I am making sure I got it all. I hate when I miss little spots of wallpaper. Um, and then here's me blocking off that little backside. Uh, just to make sure Sims who are visiting don't decide to go play catch back there or something. Like, I want all the Sims to be in my sight. <laughs> Um, excuse me stalling here I was probably just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the interior uh, like I said Pinterest is great in inspiration every single time um, so here you can see that uh, the only way to get to that second floor is with an elevator which you know it's not it's not really like realistic because if there was a fire, you would need a staircase. But once again, that's just me thinking too deep into the game. <laughs> just letting y'all know I recognize these things as well as there not being a bathroom. Um, those uh, areas I blocked out to fit produce, I kind of envisioned it like when you go to the grocery store and all the produce is tucked into the wall and it has like the little sprinklers that put water on it to keep it fresh. That's kind of what I was going for. I couldn't exactly mimic it, but 
I think it came out nice. So. Okay, this part was definitely a gamble. I had no idea if this was gonna look good or not. <clears throat> I also didn't realize how much work it was gonna be to get the wood to match up all around, front and back, as well as the flooring on the inside. <laughs> um, honestly, looking back on it, I, I really like it. I want to say something negative so bad, but I'm trying not to. I, I like it. It's different. I like it. Um, yeah. And then I tried to go with the dark green there, but um, I wasn't really feeling it for some reason. It seems like uh, I needed something more brownish. So I replaced that. Um, just a building tip for y'all. I heavily utilize pillars everywhere, as you can see. They come in so much handy and they really uh, make your builds look really nice and put together. Um, the columns the game gives you work great too, but uh, with pillars using the walls, it just adds like this really clean look uh, that you can't quite get with the columns. Am I getting those mixed up columns, pillars? Y'all know what I mean. So with the floors, I was using this little fence to get a border. Uh, I wanted to have wood in the middle and some kind of tiling and stone on the outside. And this is also how I wanted to separate the areas of the grocery store. Another good building tip is when you're struggling on what to do just always just think back to real life like what would what would it look like in real life what do I see in the grocery store in real life um, most grocery stores I've seen the, the floors are mostly concrete all throughout um, but sometimes they do have it sectioned off where like uh, the produce section has like rubber floors and the rest of the grocery store has like tiles or something. So um, yeah, just always refer back to real life if you're ever feeling stuck.
So one thing I didn't love about that sign at the entrance is that it was just way too close to the door, but I really didn't have any, any other space to place it. And I really wanted some kind of welcoming entrance type of thing. So just so y'all know, like I'm aware that's a little bit, a little bit annoying, but it's still cute. All right, so these supermarket wall deco signs are some of my favorite uh, recolors I've ever downloaded. Um, I'll be sure to link it in the description. The creator actually, um, in their policy, they allow people to include their recolors in downloads in lots and stuff. So uh, that will be included with the download, but i'll link their page below anyway so you can see some of their other creations um i just love those recolors i just think they're perfect for the game and i especially love that it actually incorporates the real grocery items from the game so yeah and then here at the entrance <clears throat> you see me making kind of like a little garden kind of area to complement the sign and everything um minimal clutter for sure i still wanted it to look very clean and put together That little random area of fencing that I put was meant to be like an imaginary shopping cart return. Um, I didn't want to download any extra CC for that, but I do know it is available. If you guys want to go and uh, find your own shopping carts and add it there, hopefully it fits. <laughs> but like I said before, I just really try to keep um, the custom content minimum so but yeah something i love about building grocery stores and markets is that once you have the items that you need, uh, furnishing the grocery store kind of takes care of itself um, because you have all those kind of large essential items and you don't really have to think too hard about it, uh, which is why I spend so much time on the shell and the wallpaper and the flooring and the exterior um, because that's what really will set it apart uh, from being just just a basic store with some uh, fridges and stuff so yeah um, if I didn't include the uh, the butcher area and the seafood area and the bakery this build could have been a lot smaller um, but I might have kept the bakery even without having CC because your sims can potentially buy the lot and then stock it but but yeah, anyways, uh, that's one of the reasons why I felt like it was so important for me to uh, download a little bit of CC um, to add those 
extra special elements to the grocery store. So yeah. Those shorter uh, little fridges, display fridges that you see um, are another piece of custom content that will be included in the download. Um, the creator was okay with that. So I went ahead and included it in the zip file. So something cool about those is that they were actually meant for fish, like fish that your Sims uh, fish themselves. And your Sims can use those and actually take the fish from their inventory and um, stock those. Well, I don't know if they have the action to stock those, but I know you can use fish that your Sim get to stock them. And it looks so much, it looks so much better than what I did. Um, I did what I could, but it looks so good. And once again, in the description, I'll have that download as well, just so you can check out her page even though it is included so you can see her creation i don't know why i'm saying her i'm just assuming they're a she but but yeah so i this is another piece of cc that's included um all of these meats are a part of uh, the same download so instead of using fish since i can't use like the fresh fish I'm using these little salmon trays that came with um, that little meat collection and I think it turned out pretty nice um, if your sim is here looking for any other kinds of fish I'm sorry they're out of luck we just have salmon <laughs> If I'm being honest, I do really like the blinding, the blinding lights of a supermarket. <laughs> um, you'll notice I put so many lights in here. I just wanted it to be super bright. Um, it's like whenever you go to the grocery store at night and the lights just blind you. That's the feeling I wanted it to give. So um, here you can see that. Uh, just like my last build, I am incorporating those ceiling pieces for the lights to hang off of. I like to think of them as random, uh, some kind of like random structural component of the building. Um, make what you want of it, but just know when you see it, that is completely on purpose uh, so that the lights aren't suspended in midair. So we've moved on to the bakery items, which is, um, I think the only custom content that's, yeah, this is the only custom content that's a part of this build that's not included in the download. Um, I believe the creator requests, requested that their CC be linked back to their page. 
which totally makes sense um so yeah i will put that in in the description as well so you guys can go to that link it still works so don't worry um as of now at least the download is pretty old but <clears throat> also in order to have all these nice fancy recolors of the bakery items you have to have the color enable package installed uh like i was talking about before that's just kind of like a overall mod that's helpful to have but just just to clarify um uh, and like i said everything will be in the description so don't worry too much about remembering what i'm saying um that bakery set is its perfection it is like one of the best downloads ever uh the detail that was put into it and how it brings so much life into like your bakeries and kitchens um if you watch my last build i used it there too and i think it's it's perfect These books that I put on those shelves we're just gonna pretend that those are like cookbooks and like health policy and instruction books so yeah I didn't want to deal with trying to decorate those shelves I just felt like it was unnecessary for a grocery store so I just threw some books up there so it's not so empty Another little building tip I have and decorating tip I have is to decorate not just from your perspective as the player but also from the sims perspective so there may be like little tight corners or areas of the build that are hard to see from your perspective but if you um, hit tab go into uh, filmmaking mode I, I can't remember what it's called but if you go into the special camera mode and 
kind of walk through your own build and act like uh, as if you were a sim and like what what you would want to see like you wouldn't wouldn't want to see like random spaces without lights random spaces that are just blank like um, just a little decorating tip if you do feel like your builds are lacking something uh, it's a really good way to look at it I even added lights behind there because it was looking very dark and um, I imagined a sim like walking up to uh, the butcher shop or the bakery and just seeing like how dark it is back there and maybe it's not as inviting for them so yeah just a little tip I like to use um, I went ahead and added some lights on the rooftop I just thought it looked nice adds a little something even though the rooftop is super plain. Um, once again, here I go with all the lights, trying to make it blindingly bright again. And just looks like I'm doing some of the finishing touches. I'm not a huge fan of the landscaping here, but um, I just wanted to keep it really simple, like, like, uh, like a real supermarket. So you guys can definitely upgrade that. Uh, if you download this lot, make it a little bit better, um, or a lot better, but, uh, I think I put the bare minimum as for gardening and let's get into some, uh, screenshots and everything. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that part. That was um, something I used to do in my some of my older videos. So let me know if y'all liked it. Um, there's quite a bit of screenshots here to get through. So I just wanted to take this time to say thank you all so much for the positive feedback, um, both on YouTube and on Mod The Sims and on Tumblr. It, seriously means the world to me because I've been playing Sims like like a lot of us I've been playing Sims since I was a little little kid and um, I always really appreciated content creators and people who would upload their builds and share everything and now um, you know having the confidence to uh, share my creations and getting positive feedback is a really really good feeling so Please let me know what you think. Um, I'm always open to criticism, what you'd like to see, what you want me to build. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And I'm gonna leave the video here. Um, thank you for watching. If you're already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider it. And bye-bye.